Just about every major store today has some form of loyalty card. Here's how I think they could be made better. Whenever you use your rewards card in a store, there's a certain give and take. You are motivated to use your card because you're going to get either points back, money back, or maybe just a plain out discount while you're there. That's your motivation. Their motivation is they want to track everything you've purchased so that they can figure out what it is you like and dislike. Um, and, and they mean you specifically, not in aggregate, because they already know what is selling well in the store. They already know how to stock the shelves based on what people are buying in aggregate. But if they collect your information, and most of the time they want your email address or your phone number, and in many cases they ask for your full address, but what they want from you is to know what you like. So when you buy baby products, when you buy diapers, and when you buy let's say certain types of medication or maybe even something as simple as uh, the type of orange juice you drink. They want to know what it is you like so they can send you coupons. And of course, I'm in the coupon business, so I kind of know a little bit about this. They want to know what it is you like based on that. Now, sometimes you use your rewards card because of you're shopping for someone else. Maybe it's a gift. Maybe you're just going to the stores. Hey, anybody need anything from... Uh, CVS or Walgreens or whatever it is, and someone will say, yeah, could you go over there and get me some hemorrhoid cream? All right, maybe they might not ask a coworker to do this, but you get the gist of it. The gist of it is that whenever you use your card for something, they are going to track it, and then you're going to use that information to try to figure out whether they're going to give you a coupon at the point of sale, or maybe through a kiosk, or maybe they'll mail it to you. Like some places don't have your mailing address, but they have a kiosk where you basically see whatever coupons are there. They'll put a coupon on the receipt, and they base those coupons on what they think you're likely to buy. And the fact that you went and you picked up hemorrhoid cream for somebody you work with, now that's kind of like on your record. You have a spotless record. You've always bought certain things and you've never had a hemorrhoid. Suddenly you get this little pimple in your data that says you bought hemorrhoid cream. And maybe somewhere along the lines you help somebody by getting some baby products, maybe for a shower. And now you, you're, in a, you're in their database as being somebody that's got a pimple on his ass and he's got a baby at home. And you have neither. Well, today's idea of the day is that there should be a little more transparency about what they know and don't know about you. And this is not difficult to do. What I'm proposing is whenever you get a loyalty card, there should be a portal that you have access to where you can inspect and make changes and deletions whenever necessary. So for example, let's say you go into that drugstore and you buy this hemorrhoid cream. And for whatever reason, now they're starting to give you all sorts of coupons for hemorrhoids, and you're just tired of it. You're literally up to there with hemorrhoid cream. And they keep sending you these ads and sending you the coupons, the kiosk. They want you to keep putting that stuff on your ass. Let's face it. All right. So you should be able to go to the portal and not only see everything you've ever bought, but make changes and remove and opt out of certain products. So if you want you don't want to see any coupons for some, I don't know, whatever. Just you should be able to go in and edit that from your profile so it's not there anymore. In fact, to go to the next level, what they should also do is give you that information back in your own reporting, either to be able to print the exact original receipt so you can have them for tax purposes, or specifically just so you can maybe even get an itemized list of everything broken down by category. That would be phenomenal as a selling point for a place that is literally like a Walmart or a Target where you have thousands of products to be able to say, I will do all my shopping at Target because it will specifically at the end of the year, not just give me on my credit card bill a single total that says Target, where I can go to Target, use my rewards card, or in this case, they call it the red card, and get an itemized list of everything you've bought categorized so that for tax purposes you could say this is what I spent on medication, this is what I spent on food, this is what I spent on clothing, this is what I spent on shoes. All of that would be possible if they tie their loyalty card into a portal that people can access, download information, and again make edits. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, so that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day, every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one.
and, and some of my videos don't suck either.